Discover the nomadic artistry of the Tuareg. Did you know the Tuareg people, nomads in the Sahara Desert, are famous for their stunning silver jewelry? Besides navigating harsh desert landscapes, the Tuareg culture is rich in artistic tradition. Their silver jewelry is not only beautiful, but also holds significant meaning. Each piece is handcrafted and often adorned with intricate designs that have been passed down through generations. To the Tuareg, silver represents the moon, a symbol of protection and purity. These pieces often feature geometric patterns that are unique to their tribe. Women usually craft these intricate designs, spending hours to ensure each piece reflects their heritage. Next time you think of the desert, remember it's not just sand and sun, it's a living gallery of art passed down through the ages. Tune in to learn more fascinating facts about the Tuareg and their unique culture. Have you heard of Italy's haunted door at Palazzo Vecchio? In the heart of Florence, Italy, inside the Palazzo Vecchio, lies a mysterious door known as the haunted door. This peculiar door has an eerie handprint that never fades. According to legend, the door belonged to Francesco, a servant who mysteriously vanished in the 16th century. He was accused of stealing a precious ring from the ruling Medici family. Desperate to escape punishment, Francesco tried to run away through the door, but was caught by Medici guards. It is said that Francesco cursed the door with his last breath and left a handprint as a testament to his innocence. To this day, no amount of cleaning can remove the handprint. Many visitors claim to hear whispers and feel a cold breeze near the door, adding to its haunted reputation. Next time you're in Florence, dare to visit the Palazzo Vecchio and witness the haunted door for yourself. Did you know about Greece's never-ending flag of rocks? When we think of Greece, we often picture ancient ruins and beautiful beaches, but there's an interesting and lesser-known spot the village of Paliokori on the island of Mylos. Here in a place called Sarakiniko, there's a natural rock formation that looks like it extends forever. These rocks are white and wave-like, shaped by volcanic eruptions and the relentless sea. They seem to stretch out majestically, capturing sunsets in a way you'll never forget. Because of their unique moon-like landscape, Sarakiniko has become a top spot for Instagram photos. But remember, these rocks are fragile and need our care. Did you know about this flight schemer? Hey there. Let's talk about a little known aviation pioneer. Ever heard of Percy Sinclair Pilcher? Most people haven't, but here's a fun fact. Pilcher was an early aviation pioneer who designed and flew some of the first gliders in the late 19th century. In 1895, he built a glider called the Hawk and actually managed to achieve controlled flights. But here's the kicker. Pilcher was working on a powered aircraft that could have beaten the Wright brothers to become the first humans to achieve powered flight. Imagine the history books today. Unfortunately, during a glider demonstration in 1899, the tail of his glider broke and he tragically fell 30 feet. He passed away four days later and his dreams of powered flight were cut short. Pilcher's contribution to aviation might be overlooked but it paved the way for future flight pioneers. Next time you think of the history of flight, remember Percy Sinclair Pilcher, an unsung hero with soaring aspirations. Did you know about the Ainu's unique kimono? The Ainu people, indigenous to northern Japan, have a fascinating tradition of making unique kimonos called atis. These garments are not made from silk or cotton like most kimonos, but from a special type of bark called ohyo. The Ainu carefully strip the bark, soak it in water, and meticulously weave it into fabric. Each atis is adorned with intricate geometric patterns passed down through generations. These designs are not just for decoration. They hold deep cultural meanings and serve as protection against evil spirits. Women typically wear atis during ceremonies and special occasions. This remarkable practice of crafting Addis showcases the Ainu's deep connection to nature and their rich cultural heritage. By wearing Addis, they honor their ancestors and keep their traditions alive. Have you heard of Ireland's dark fairy, the Slua? In the heart of Irish folklore, there exists a chilling tale about the Slua. The Sluag are believed to be restless spirits 
often described as a host of flying, dark fairies. According to legend, these spirits were once people who led wicked lives or died without receiving proper rites. Unlike the friendly fairies of other legends, the Slua are malevolent and known to snatch souls. They travel in a westward direction, seeking out homes in mourning. To protect themselves, people would shut west-facing windows at night. Farmers also feared them, believing they could spoil crops or harm livestock. Despite their fearsome nature, the Sluag's legend serves as a cautionary tale about the importance of community rituals and living a virtuous life. Did you know about the man who almost discovered oxygen first? Have you ever heard of Joseph Priestley? He is well known for discovering oxygen, but there's a twist. Before Priestley, a Swedish pharmacist named Carl Wilhelm Scheele had already discovered oxygen. Scheele found it in 1772, two years before Priestley, but he didn't publish his findings immediately. So, Priestley got the credit in 1774. Scheele's story is a hidden gem in the world of science. Scheele called his discovery fire air, not realizing it was the same gas humans breathe. His discovery was buried in his notes and wasn't published until 1777, three years after Priestley's. Scheele's curiosity and experiments with gases laid the foundation for modern chemistry. Imagine the frustration of making such an important discovery and not getting the credit for it. Fascinating, right? So next time you hear about oxygen, remember Carl Wilhelm Scheele, an unsung hero in the tale of this essential element. Did you know an artist helped shape science? Hey everyone, have you ever heard of Maria Sibella Marion? She was an incredible woman who lived in the 1600s. Not only was she an amazing artist, but she also made big discoveries in science. One fun fact about Maria is that she was one of the first people to discover the life cycle of insects. Back then, many people didn't know that caterpillars turned into butterflies. Maria's detailed paintings showed each stage of an insect's life, from egg to adult. Her work helped scientists understand nature better and is still admired today. Isn't it cool how art and science can work together? Did you know about Peru's enchanted llamas? In the high Andes of Peru, there's a lesser known folktale about enchanted llamas that can vanish into thin air. Villagers believe these magical creatures come down from the mountains only on the night of the full moon. According to the legend, these llamas are guardians of hidden treasures. One particularly foggy night, a humble shepherd named Carlos found himself lost and came across a beautiful glowing llama. This llama led him to a hidden cave filled with gold and gems. As soon as Carlos touched the treasure, the llama vanished. When he tried to leave, he found the entrance blocked by a magical fog. Understanding the llama's message, he left the treasure untouched. The fog lifted, and he was able to find his way home. To this day, elders in the village warn people that greed will only lead them to be lost forever in the mountains. The enchanted llamas are said to still roam the Andes, waiting for the worthy. Did you know about the unique talking tree ritual of the Blackfoot tribe? The Blackfoot people of North America have a unique and intriguing ritual called the talking tree. This custom involves powerful spiritual communication with trees. Traditionally, a Blackfoot elder would sit in front of a tree and speak to it as if it were another person. They share their thoughts, prayers, and seek guidance. It's believed that trees possess wisdom and a deep connection to nature that can offer answers to life's tough questions. This practice underscores the profound bond between the Blackfoot and their natural environment, showcasing respect and reverence for all living things. Amazingly, some modern Blackfoot individuals still honor this tradition today, keeping their ancestral wisdom alive and relevant in today's world. Did you enjoy these 10 strange facts? We will bring you more interesting topics in the next video. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and enjoy.